Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a guest. My name is Uche. Today we're reacting to Metallica 1. This is actually an official video, so without further ado, let's get started. sound the um, bass solo it's it's dope yeah. i'm enjoying the every sound since it began yeah you know when he said something about democracy i was just you know marvel because he said anyone any father can give out give us a son just for democracy you know um i think this video was i think um shot way back when democracy was still you know starting because with what is happening around me, I don't think I'll prefer democracy because it's just favoring some set of people. But anyway, I, I feel sometimes we have the freedom to vote, okay? And some, we actually have freedom to speak, or even if, if they would not hear what we're saying, but at least we, we, can, we can talk, we can go out and air our view, we can protest. So I think that's one of the benefits of democracy. But aside from that, I just feel the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poor, and everybody's trying to, you know, fill their pocket. Yeah, you see, in Africa here, we're practicing democracy in quotes, just the name of it. There's democracy, or oh, we can elect and be elected, and the rest of that. But the other fundamentals, the other systems, the units in democracy, we don't practice it. Yeah, because there should be checks and balance. Yeah. Who is checking who? Those who are supposed to be checking others are busy being checked, and those that are supposed to be checked are checking others. So the whole thing is a whole jungle here in Africa, when you talk about our governmental system, it's a whole, Trump says, uh, it's a shithole here in Africa. So until there's a reform, until somebody stands up to say, no, it's enough, I don't think we are heading anywhere in terms of democracy. Probably we should just switch about to military. <laughs> I can't remember anything, can't tell if this is true. I, I can't live 
think I'm falling in love with Meta. <laughs> yeah, the whole new gen. Like, I've listened to it one or twice, like, different metal bands, bro. Meta's own with what I'm, I'm listening, I'm watching here. I was story experiencing with the sound, with the coordination, the energy, the emotions, the vocals. I think I would, I would want to get more into Meta. <laughs> yeah, listen to Meta. And it also paints a picture of war, government, family, and things we go through um, every day of our life and the challenges each and everybody faces. Because what you're facing is different from what I'm facing. Yeah. Yeah, some people might have the money and other people don't have good health. Someone might have good health and don't have the money. So it's just it's just cutting across different parts of our everyday life yeah. and what everybody goes through. Well, I when the video started and I saw the guy lying down on the bed, I was like, what's wrong with him? Then the um, the father asked, the little boy asked his father, what is democracy then? After that, then I discovered, okay, I think this guy lying down here went to war. Due to the course of the war, he actually, you know, lost his sight and he's just lying down there. He don't know if he's asleep or awake. These are sacrifices a whole lot of people have taken for the better good of their country. And at the end of the day, I don't think the way he is, I I, I feel he's in deep pain, you know. If you're in a state whereby you can't differentiate between you, you sleeping and being awake, it's a state I don't really, I don't want anyone to pass through. Lying here, I has a dignity all its own. Father, I need help. I'm in terrible trouble and I need help. Don't you remember when you were little? How you and Bill Harper used to bring a wire between the two houses so you could telegraph to each other? You'll remember the Morse code. This is it's really really touching, you know. I, I feel he's he's trying to talk, but he's not able to talk. So he's actually giving them sign language or 
as a code, a yeah. Morse code. They used to communicate back then during the war, and the Navy and the rest, they used it. So she was telling them, SOS, help, I kill me. Like, she could, like, it's when you get to a point in life that like, you can't help, you don't see the, there's a word or why you're living, why you're alive. It's really painful because you see people taking their lives, suicide is rampart, even the youth. Some time ago, I lost some former clues by suicide. I like you wondering what these people are going through. But sometimes I try to put myself in their shoes and these people they seek out for help. Most of them won't come out to tell us oh we're going through this body are signs we could have read into this their behavior, the way they do their things, changes and people withdrawing. I feel like as friends or people we should come out like, yo bro, are you good? Well we never care or we're so busy with our lives and we just don't see that um, we should check up on them. Yeah. And then the next thing, they're gone. You see, and most of these things, not your fault. You see soldiers having PTSD and the rest of that. And most of this war, people dying in, or people sustaining various injuries could have been avoided. But people who call for this war will be behind the table in some offices right there and sending other people to, other people to go die. Or people's children to go die in the battle why they and their children are somewhere let's see it's just crazy so i think the best thing is if you are in a country that there's no war on this peace appreciate the fact that you are living in a you know a good place you know because people that fought for independence we are supposed to actually celebrate them because it's not easy a whole lot of people lost their lives just to make sure we are living in peace so every day we just need to just thank them for that for for being able to sacrifice their life to make sure we are okay because i don't think i can survive this you know being in a state whereby i want to talk but i can't talk and i can't see i can't do anything i can't feel my body just for my country i don't think i want to be in that situation so it's it's not easy and i i get what is passing through <laughs> I think aside from the people that are going to war, we need to appreciate our nurses and doctors because they are seeing a whole lot, you know, when when they, they bring people that are injured, they, they, are, they are the ones taking care of those people, making sure that they are fit to go back again or to discharge them and let them go home. You know, they are actually seeing a lot. I don't think I will see such a person and go home and sleep. Because <laughs> okay. it's it's crazy what um, their health practitioners, they go through. Let's take a look back at um, just the recent um, pandemic, the yeah. coronavirus. Every other us, we are bit locked down in the house. But these frontline workers, they are always there, seeing people die almost every day. And they're just going, putting their life, their family at risk of contacting the virus. And still, they are there for us. So they are our heroes. They are not, they say, not all heroes we are kept. That was the end of the video and I'm glad to be reacting this video with my amazing guest. If it is your first time visiting my channel, click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and remain blessed.